It really shouldn't have been a surprise to me that this game was going to be shit awful when you realize that three, three of the boss characters accounting for a third of the game's bosses came from Super Mario Sunshine. Gooper Blooper, Bowser Jr., and now Petey Piranha, who just cannot catch a break and get a good appearance. It seems the only decent one was in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and that's gotta be galling. What makes it worse is that his boss fight accompanies more Metroidvania ability loss, like with the giant scuttlebutt from three levels ago, except this is in the Lady Late game. This almost totally ruins the boss fight since it has to do an obligatory dive off the difficulty curve to make sense with Mario's lost abilities. Petey Piranha decides to eat Kirsty, which means there's no battle spinner and no paperization. That also means the boss level overall is cut down since the ability to solve puzzles disappears and the entire level turns into solving a single problem the game created for no reason by going to things and clicking X at them. Petey's boss fight is similarly cut down since he doesn't have a shadow weakness that kills 80% of his health bar in one shot. Although that also means he's sort of vulnerable to everything you can throw at him. He also deals a hefty bit of damage, so grabbing a couple healing items is recommended. The problem with having a kitchen sink approach to a fighting a boss is that it becomes an incredibly generic fight, especially when the fight itself takes away some of your customization right at the start. It's basically like fighting Bowser Jr. or k again with three times the health. Just load up some thing stickers until Petey falls over, whereupon he'll explode into sparkly bits. Maybe Bowser just grows clones of these guys or something since he seems to be exploding quite a lot in the series. I don't know, and like Nintendo, I don't much care for Petey Piranha.